Rise and shine, it is breakfast time. Yes, indeed, we're back again. I'm Heel Will Mahoney, that's Brandon. We're here to brighten your day, the Snack Society way, here on The Breakfast Lifestyle. And we today have some new from our friends at Pillsbury. Yes, indeed, we got some toaster scrambles oh. up in the house here on The Breakfast Lifestyle. The, the uh, Pillsbury Doughboy has brought us something new, or if it's not new, it's new to you, because it's certainly new to us. Now, I've never had them. Yep, and they're kind of reminiscent of the toaster strudel. Yeah, indeed. And they don't have the little glazed, uh, you know, the creamy white junk, the creamy white junky yeah. glaze across the top. That is not involved in this. But there are four of them in this box. And get this: mm -hmm. it says you can microwave these for ten to fifteen seconds. That's it. That's it. That scares me. So we will not be microwaving the bacon variety of these toaster scrambles. We're going to try them instead out of the toaster oven. It says we need to do that on low to medium heat for one to two cycles or until hot and golden brown. Uh -oh. That sounds a lot more easy there, but it's supposed to be eggs and bacon inside a little pouch there. Is there some cheese going on? Uh, Gotta be cheese. Right? Cheese sauce. Yes. Cheese sauce, yes. egg and crust, bacon in a pastry crust. Think these ran me about Two forty nine, maybe. That's not too bad. How I don't even think that four. Four. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, maybe three forty nine. One of the two. They're saying they're one hundred ninety calories. Yeah, they're yeah, they're kind of low. I'm yeah. Surprised. One hundred ninety. That's not bad at all. We're gonna throw these in the toaster oven and see what's up. Be back right after this as you live your breakfast lifestyle. All right, we're back, and we got the darn toaster scramble out of the oven from Pillsbury. Oh my God! First thing, this thing is piping hot. Let's see. Oh, super, okay. super hot. Yep. I only had in there maybe about, in that toaster oven, say, maybe three minutes or so mm -hmm. on medium. Did through one cycle on medium, then maybe a partial cycle on light just to make sure. So the biggest thing I was worried about is, is the center going to be, you know, yeah. not, you know, ice cold. Yeah. The edges are piping hot. So don't hopefully. Want no, don't this, want no egg sickle in there. Exactly. That's the biggest thing I was worried about. Now, outward appearance, nothing terribly remarkable, reminds me exactly of a damn toaster strudel. Yeah. Where's yeah. my creamy white junk? Exactly. Where, where's the glaze to put on there? I don't know. You know, that's what's missing. But otherwise, the size is there. No noticeable, like, real scent to it. Not really I pastry. Sort of. I, what I do smell is the pastry. I don't smell like a lot of bacon or anything like that. I smell just like there was some bread cooking or something a little bit. Not okay. A lot. Yeah. All right. Well, let's slice it open and see what uh, the inside's looking like. Oh, now a little flaky crust action going on there. That's a good sign. Now inside, maybe not necessarily the most remarkable. Yeah, that's nothing terribly exciting looking there, <laughs> the inside of that. Uh, yeah. It's just kind of like, okay, there's some egg in there. We're supposed to have some cheese sauce. It's not oozing out or nothing. No, it's not, ooze, it's not oozy gooey. It's not doing any kind of cheese pull action. Right. We're not getting any uh, hot pocket looking like, you know, lava coming out of there. All but right. um, all stuff to do is taste it, which we will do right after that. We'll be right back with your breakfast lifestyle. All yep. right, it's toaster scramble time. Let's see what Pillsbury has for the snack society here with the eggs and bacon and this cheese sauce. Let's dig in, sir. I'm not too excited about this. This looks kind of whatever. Bro. I'm not getting much scent-wise. Now that now that I got it up here, I will say it is warm all the way through. Yeah. You know, I, we're not getting the, we're not getting that frozen ice like we were worried about up no, there. No, no, no egg sickle, man. Yeah. So that part worked, but flavor-wise, I don't know. Let's Fine. see. Okay. Crust is decent. It's soft. It's uh. Uh, kind of pillowy, mm -hmm. you know, it's a nice little decent crust on it. A little bit of flakiness, like a croissant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very very much very croissant-like mm -hmm. on the crust. It's not, that's not bad at all, a decent yeah. flavor. Obviously, it's got egg in it. It's definitely got a cheese sauce going on, like it says. I'm not really noticing the bacon, though. No. It's in there, but it's I not know, doing a lot flavor -wise. I notice the saltiness of the bacon more mm -hmm. than the flavor of the bacon. Right. Yeah. Um, the crust is probably the main thing here. Let's see if we dress it up a little bit. I'm sure it'll help. Cappuccino. But kind of, you know, what we're getting so far here isn't the most exciting thing in the world. Kind of like Zack Ryder in the ring right now getting choked out by Rusu. Yeah. You know, not the most exciting thing in the world there at Zack Ryder, but he's tapping out. Hmm. Uh, okay, that obviously helps it, but. I would say the crust is the star here. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm getting. The eggs are very unremarkable. The cheese sauce is, you know, it's there. It helps. The cheese is for mostly for lubrication. It's got a nice smooth creaminess to it, mm -hmm. um, and that helps break up the flakiness and dryness of the crust. Right. And that's good. But the 
protein components are pretty much out to, out to lunch. They're yeah. They're not around. Yeah, um, Pillsbury also has this in a sausage variety. I just decided to go with bacon when I saw them both there. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, nothing terribly exciting. Nothing overwhelmingly great about it. Nope. Um, I would describe the crust as maybe a um, slightly better than a, a Hot Pocket crust. Yeah, because it's, you know, it's a little more fancy. Yeah, I yeah. I say it's a slightly stepped up Hot Pocket crust, but is, is that anything to really get too excited about in the morning? I wouldn't say so. <laughs> no. no. Um, no. Rating-wise, this is very just meh. Um, Pillsbury, you need, to, you need to step it up. I need something more from this to really start my day the breakfast lifestyle way. Uh, Half, I think. Yeah. It's just kind of meh. I agree. It's just meh. I mean, it's not bad. It's not going to make make you throw up or nothing. Yeah. But it's not also going to make you smile. It's yeah. nothing to go out of your way for. No. By no. any means. Very much like on the pain chart where you got the guy in the middle who just got the, <laughs> just got like the flat. The line. Yeah. <laughs> the flat line. This is a flat line item right there. Toaster scrambles. You need to do something better, pills. Where the doughboy needs to step it up a notch. You know where you can step it up a notch? Where's that? On the Facebook group where the SAS got started. Click that on the link down below and tell us what you think of the toaster scrambles. That's right. And also, you can tell us what you think on Twitter, where you can follow us at Brandon Wright SAS and at Kiowa Mahoney, the host here. And also on Instagram at the same handles. And when you do, you have to use our famous hashtag. Oh, yes. Our famous hashtags are all over the place. When you're celebrating the breakfast lifestyle, let us know by using hashtag breakfast lifestyle every morning when you're chowing down on your breakfast of champions. You know what else you need to do? You need to join that snack society by using hashtag snack society for all your snacking needs so we can put your news out there and you can tell us what you're snacking on and we share it with the world. When you do that, you're part of the whole corporation. You're part of the the whole enchilada, the whole empire, you join that four horsemen of YouTube, baby. Bike, favorite, share, subscribe. In the meantime, in between time, rise and shine. We'll, we'll see, see you next time. Bye-bye. Boom.